variables what are variables factors and outcomes that are measured to determine their level or severity can in simple terms be called as variables variables are those that can be measured or recorded expected benefits that this is the next section in the proposal expected benefits these will be in line with the overall research aim of addressing the knowledge gap in the area of interest it is not the results of the study but who the results of the study will help bring a change in, in understanding a disease change the treatment guidelines or have a preventive strategy or rather how this research will help us to close the knowledge gap by the findings ethics if humans are involved as participants in either experimental or observational study all information regarding the study in a simple language should be provided to them this can include relevant details that the subject should know so that they can make an informed decision whether to participate or not to participate no undue favors should be provided like monetary benefits that can influence the decision to participate any potential harm like pain or discomfort and the benefits or usefulness of the study should also be explained consent should be a separate entity from the uh, study information and the subjects should expressively understand the study and its implication before agreeing to participate in the study investigators details should also be provided for any further information and the hospital or clinic to approach in case of any discomfort or emergency during the study the next section comes the budget please provide a detailed budget with breakdowns frequent categories which can be seen in a budget would be on materials chemicals journal article costs for literature review rentals to be paid patient remuneration on travel and food travel cost for the study paper and printing and publication costs of the research report justification on any need for any new equipment or software should be provided timelines how the study will progress and the duration will take for each categories a gantt chart of timelines of all the activities in research should be given in the proposal this will help in evaluation during the conduct of the study whether the timelines are followed or not milestones should be identified that can be the completion of some important activities that will have a bearing on the progress of the study so the timelines will have two aspects a gantt chart of timelines and the milestones when it will be covered let us do the final activity when completed will help you develop a research proposal state the benefits of the study ethical consideration including informed consent subjects protection then comes the budget and timelines finish this activity in the same word file as other activities and send me for evaluation if you do not have the word file scan the qr code and access the word file as before and follow the instructions pause video for scanning the qr code so let's recap what is there in a proposal the title which tells us what we are proposing on introduction an important aspect that introduces the research problem and its importance and thus identifies the purpose of research objectives and hypothesis are specifically tells us what we intend to measure or evaluate and what the beliefs are on the expected measurement as hypothesis the literature review details on previous studies related to our research and evidence to show that this research is very much in need to fill the knowledge gap methodology as to how to undertake this research so that another person if he wants to can duplicate the study expected benefits from our research ethical safeguards in place and any conflict of interest are the next sections we put in finally we have the timelines and the budget necessary for conduct of the research thank you for attending this lecture and please post your comments in form of suggestions or clarification thank you see you all thank you very much for viewing this video let's meet again on a different topic bye